So, so I was just signing in the garage here and look what I see. West Ham Accident Road Show. Look, and it says 97 has had more incidents than any other route. Can you see Temple Mills, Stratford, Bell Corner, Chingford Station. See, 97. 238, I mean 323. 330. 474, 238, 241, and 277. That's crazy. I can believe though, 97 though, having the most incidents because that route, boy, that route, whole street. Ho Street, oh Ho Street, that's it says Ho Street, Chingford, Walthamstow, mad. This road is like, this route, yeah, 97, it's like the wild, wild west. I call it the wild, wild west. Because the way people drive on that route, moped, like these delivery riders and that, just coming out of nowhere, cutting you up. The way people drive, like, oh, it's crazy. It's like the wild, wild west. It's like, almost like people don't have licenses, bro. Like, it's just mad. It's mad. So I can believe it. Definitely 100% with the 97, though. 100%. The, the worst <laughs> route for accidents. And I've got, I have this on my duty card. So I'm supposed to collect the bus at the stand at Mylin. I think I've showed you a lot the stand, but can show you again just to collect the bus from there well whereas, whereas usually in my lane you do a live changeover basically with everyone watching basically with passengers on the bus but this time they've got the stand the bus at the stand so no live changeover but at west ham as you can see they are repainting the lines and stuff which is badly needed because as you can see here the lines are literally peeling off like they're not so visible so it's good that they're finally painting them so it's more visible but yeah let's go to my lane now whole street waterstow layton even stratford like the way the moped riders just cut in front of you and they come up the side of you i can't lie yeah even on like 238 like even on 330 like when you're going through newham you know that green street like all of them like you know they kind of have hotspot areas they have you know just knew them in general like drivers are crazy on that route. like drivers are crazy in that area so they all kind of but i can definitely see why 97 scores the highest <laughs> i can definitely see why 100 percent and the thing is, we need and we love the delivery drivers, the Uber Eats drivers, because they deliver our food, innit? When we can't be asked to go to the shop or go to the restaurant, you know? When we're too lazy, they just come and deliver it to our house. But, so we need them, you know? They do it timely as well, like, you know? Speed, speedily. But the thing is, yeah, the way they drive is just crazy. And they've got, and I, what I don't understand, they've got the L, the L play, yeah? The learner thing on, on the back, yeah? and they still drive crazy like and i know it's, they're not learner drivers like they definitely have experience but they still just have the learner thing on the back i think that's probably for like insurance purposes i don't even know but yeah thank you driver my bus so i've reached the stand obviously i gotta live from the driver because i'm a bus driver so yeah i reached the stand obviously there's like d7 so yeah so usually usually you would um do life changeover but because today is different they got me collecting the bus at the stand i don't know why but that's what it is so yeah so we made it to Cross Harbour. Obviously, whilst I was on the stand, nodded at a group of colleagues and they never nodded back. Typical, eh? But anyway, we move. Understand now. 
I've literally got to go out in about nine minutes time. So there's um there's diversion today at Canary Wharf. So instead of going like instead of going I think upper I think it's called Upper Bank Street where like I don't know if you know Canary Wolf, like on the other side of the like pond, no, not pond, the kind of bay, kind of the other side of the water, basically. We're not going on that side. I think they're doing some um, works with on one of the buildings. I think they're lifting glass or something like that. I think you said on the notice board. So, yeah, we're not going that side. So, we're basically. Kind of, we're still serving Canary Wolf, but we're just going a different way, basically. Where the D8 goes, if you know the D8 route. But yeah, so I've got to go out shortly. Yeah, not too bad today. Not too cold, not too hot. Kind of just in the middle. And yeah. But I don't know why I had to start, at, like, why the bus was at the mile end stand. I don't really know why. I don't, because there's nothing wrong with this bus. And um, I came that way as I was heading to work before I signed on and I saw the bus there. So I don't really know why. I don't know what happened there because usually I would be doing a live changeover. But today, the bus was on the stand, just parked at the stand. So, And I checked the card. There was nothing on the card to say like it was mechanical or anything like that. So it's a bit strange, but yeah, that's what it is today. So yeah, done my checks and that. Nothing there. It's all fine. No one's left nothing. Just like rubbish. Typical rubbish. But yeah. So I've reached Dolston Junction, yeah? But I'm late because of the diversion. So I literally, again, just have to do my checks and go out again. I've reached my land, yeah? I've reached my land and just left my bus there. There was so much traffic coming up to my land, yeah? And... It was so busy like i don't know how come 277 is so busy nowadays but i didn't have a leader so i was basically taking two buses load of passengers basically because i didn't have a leader but yeah i'm on lunch now so it's all good i arrived about four minutes late so yeah i'm currently in um co-op here but at the sandwich is there's basically a lot of pork options so if you if you don't eat pork then it's not really there's not a lot of options but i guess because british people we like pork so it's a lot of pork but i think i might get kfc though man i don't think there's much here so uh, i've made it to costa coffee and i'm gonna sit upstairs i've never, I've never sat upstairs but i said let me go sit right at the back my spirit said come upstairs, so sales. I've never sat upstairs before. So I went three different places. Costa to get some peanuts, love them. KFC, which I should really be having. And I bought a carrot cake because it was just looking nice in the window, so. And I'm sitting upstairs, never sat up here before, but my spirit said go and sit up here, so. I said, let me sit up here. But yeah, this is the best part of the day, I finished at this, I got I reached mile in a bit late because of the traffic and because it was so busy but yeah lunchtime is probably the best one of the best parts of the day in this job but yeah so I have finished the KFC I don't know who actually eats this gravy but I got mega box for 99 it's actually worth it like it's actually quite tasty like and you get a good amount um, out of 10 I'll give it maybe an 8 out of 10 the chicken was crispy, nice, not too salty. Chips was nice. You know, sometimes like I find in McDonald's, like the chips is, and other places, like the chips is like daggers. It's like spears, like it just cuts your gums and that. Like, when you eat them, like it's just very crispy when you when you chew it. But everything was nice, though. Everything was on point. Yeah, KFC. It was good, man. KFC. I can't lie. It was worth the money. I don't usually eat KFC, but it was worth the money. I don't know if it's because I was hungry, like, this is my first meal, but I don't know if it was that, but it was nice, though. So now let me try the, um, the cake and see what it's saying. So this cake here is carrot and walnut cake. 
I cut it here. Yeah, it looks nice still. It looks real nice. Awesome. <laughs> yeah man, it's nice still. £3.50 as well. It's nice. It'd be nice with some custard, I can't lie. Yeah, it's nice man. Worth the money. And the lady at the counter nice me as well. Like she gave me a big piece as well. Like she was gonna give me the small piece, but then she was like, nah, nah, let me nice Let me just turn it. And she gave me the big piece as well, so. Yeah, man. Yeah, the cake is moist. It's flavorsome. It's delicious, I can't lie, it's nice. This cake, I say 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, man. So I'm at the bus stop where I'm supposed to um, do the change over here. And my bus is supposed to be here in two minutes, but I don't think it'll be here in two minutes because there's been a lot of traffic and obviously one diversion. So it'll probably be here later. But there's another 277 here at the stand. I don't know why it's here. Probably people, a lot of people have been curtailed. I don't know why, but this one isn't my bus though. I checked because I'm 158 here. Yeah. And this one's 164. So it's not my bus. So I just have to wait here until my bus comes whenever it does. So I'll probably leave here late but there's nothing that can be done about that so yeah so i've made it to dawson junction this guy behind me was on me but it's not my fault though because i took over late the guy who i took over from did the life change over he was late so it's not my fault in it but yeah just doing my checks then literally i'm gonna go back out again because because i need to go so we've made it to Cross Harbour, yeah. I really wish I could um, do POVs, like actually film my driving so you lot could see like how it is driving from, you know, the perspective of a driver, but I can't in it because it's against, it goes against the electronics policy and all that politics. So, but I wish I could though, because like you lot could see like, you know, the way the other motorists are, the way the pedestrians just walk out into the road. The way the like delivery drivers and them like motorbike riders they do how crazy they drive so but obviously i can't in it i have to stick to the rules but yeah i'm at cross harbour done my checks and that i've literally got to go out again shortly i think i only have like nine minutes before i have to go out again so i'm just gonna chill here for a little bit and then go back out again but that's one thing i like about Cross Harbour stand, yeah. Nice views. There's nice views. Even when you're that way, yeah, at Mud Chute and you're coming up to Cross Harbour, yeah, nice views. They really like develop this area nicely. Like these are nice apartments. But again, I don't think I would want to live all the way on the top there. Like maybe at the bottom, but not all the way at the top. It's too high. Like, again, like, you know, obviously you hope it doesn't happen, but like, obviously what we've learned from Grenfell, that like, you living all the way at the top there, it's too high. I think it's better to live a bit lower. But then I still look at though, these um, apartment buildings, but for me, they're just too high, but yeah. And another thing, I've just deep here, yeah, I've like, there's no other 277 at this entire stand. I think the diversion, yeah, at Cross Harbour. No, I mean at Canary Wharf. It's made like everyone lay or something. I don't know. Because I'm the only 277 at this stand. Which is kind of unusual. Because usually there's like at least like one or two. You know, especially at this time. Seven o'clock. Well, you know, it's starting to wind down. Like people are starting to go home and stuff. So people would be heading back to garage. Some um, people, whatever duty they're doing. But you'd ha always have like one night. One, um, I'm... I'm I even say 97 I'm so used to driving 97 you'd even have one um you'd always have like at least one 277 here but there's nothing which is kind of unusual and there's not even like no D6s no D8s just me under 135 in front of me it's kind of crazy but yeah
like you really have to be able like you kind of have to be thick skinned to do this job like it's not for the week in it or like it's not for everyone this job in it and they even said that to me in training because this guy was like he was annoyed that there's diversion he's like oh you know this is not fair i tapped my i paid i tapped my card i paid my fare and i have to walk home this is not fair I, because obviously the diversion in it but I'm like, so, and then another lady was like, oh, but it's not his fault though. And he's like, yeah, I know it's not his fault, but I'm just making a point. I've paid my fare and now I have to walk home. This is not fair. And, you know, I understand what he's saying. Like, I completely understand his frustrations and that. I sympathize with him because it's long walking home, but it's not my fault, innit? Like, what can I do? It's not my fault. It's not anyone's, it's not any driver's fault. That's just... You know, there's just a diversion, <laughs> but obviously he wasn't having it. He didn't like it. I don't know. Maybe it was it wasn't in the mood for whatever reason, and that just was like the last thing that tipped him off, like that pushed him over the edge. But there's nothing anyone can do about that. You know, it's just one of them things. You know. So yeah, but that's what you have to face sometimes. And even yeah, at, um, Canary Wolf, the stop after Canary Wolf Station. Yeah, one French guy was like. Oh, did you know that there's like 20 people waiting at the bus stop? You know, is there a way you can call? Like, is there someone you can call? Because, you know, this is not good. It's not right. And I'm like, I don't know. Like, I could call iBus and tell them that, you know, there's no bus stop. There's no, um like, notice. You know, like, um saying it's on diversion, saying the bus is on diversion or like, the like, you know, they put, the, they call it hooded. Like, they don't hood the bus stop. Like, you know, that yellow thing. Um, to say bus stop is closed There's nothing there I could call them And maybe tell them that You know it sh They should have it on there But then They know what they're doing You know If they If they was If it was supposed to be on there Then I'm sure they would have it on there And again like Me and drivers were, Our job is just literally To drive the bus Like we don't know Like it's, it's not in our control You get me Like that's iBus and TFL's job You know It's not really our job to you know about notice boards and making sure bus stops are closed and notifying passengers and things like this making sure you know things are on the app and information is on the app and you know like bus times and what time it the bus is due on the apps and all these kind of things it's not the drivers we'd have nothing nothing to do with this it's out of our control but somehow the public come and ask us these questions and think that we should know when the next bus is and there should, we should know why there's no notice no um you know notice notices on the boards and on the bus stops and things but yeah it's not it's not nothing to do with us but yeah anywho anyway let me go out again so guys i've reached those thing here there you see um 67 just leaving there i've reached those thing here at look 2028 yeah and i was supposed to reach here 2007 and i reached 2028 my colleague overtook me oh i was this route is surprising me this 277 i was full up and down like i never knew 277 could be this busy i, I don't know if it's because of the diversions and everything like i don't know but i was full up and down and I'm not rushing for nobody, bro. Like, I'm not rushing for no one. I'm just going to take my time, innit? Passenger safety, safety, comfort and safety is what was priority, innit? I got everyone safely to their destination, but it was full up and down. This nice, this two, I'm so, I'm so used to saying 97 because I do it all the time. This 277 surprises me, like, it actually surprises me. Like, it can be really busy when it wants to, but it can be like quiet as well. But um, yeah, like I'm literally, I, I knew me, yeah. So they saw my videos and that on YouTube and they were sitting there. It's, I can't lie, it's nice to see you lot though in person, like, and um, chat to you lot and that. But yeah, I'm gonna do my checks now, yeah. And then I'm literally gonna go, I need to go and fill up my bot water bottle, I need to go and get some water and I need to use the toilet. So. Yeah, man, I'm going to go and do that. I'm late, but I'm late, I'm late. You get me? Like, I need to use the toilet before I go. So let me go and use the toilet. And then, yeah, come back parking, and go yeah. out. Like, look at the parking. Look, precision. Look, on the white lines. See? Can you see that? On the white lines. Precision in the box. You get me? Can you see? I'm in the box, nicely in the box, comfortably in the box. So any bus can come here. 
Sometimes you see people, yeah, and they're literally where my hand is, they're like this. They parked like this. And it's just like, why can't you park properly? Like, in, they even out, they almost near this yellow line, you know? And it's like, why can't you park in the white box? Like, why are you parking outside? It don't make sense. Cause you, this is part of your training, like learning how to park and that. So why can't you park properly? And then it makes it tighter f if there's a bus coming through this way. But anyway, let me go and get my water bottle. I forgot to get that. So I have literally here. Yeah, Get my key off. I've literally topped up my water bottle because I've even got a bit of a headache. I've topped up my water bottle and I'm gonna take, I'm gonna bang a paracetamol. Don't worry, it's non drowsy though. And yeah, my colleague that overtook me that was down there, he's now gone out. So I'm literally just gonna leave now. This was my last trip home. So yeah, I'm literally gonna leave now. I didn't even show you like, the duty cards. Let me show you the duty cards. You see this here, Tiki, essential. When you wanna, when you wanna lock your door, yeah, lock the cab door. You don't wanna carry your bag and stuff around with you. You can just shut the door and then lock it. And then obviously you need your Tiki. But yeah, let me show you the duty. Yeah, quickly before I leave out, yeah, this is the duty, isn't it? Four two zero, and it's basically one. Uh, two, three, sort of two, almost three rounds basically, maybe two and a half. So yeah, it's a calm duty, but it's just been busy today though, man. I don't know, see something something's surprising me today. But look at the cab though, it's nice though, isn't it? Like, it's spacious, spacious. These MMCs here, yeah, nice for comfort, 100%. Like, you got the handbrake there, you know. Like, if you see on them, um, that, uh, what's it called? Uh, Enviro, yeah, that one that I said is slow. The thing is on this side, and I think even, wait, it's just, yeah, it's on this side. So you, like, sometimes it's like, when you come back into the MMC after doing Enviro, it's like, I'm going like this, but really the indicator is on this side. But yeah, man, it's nice. So see, yeah, there's the dashboard and everything. It's a nice bus, though. It's nice for comfort. But I do like the Scanners, though. So I've, because of my lateness, I've been told to terminate at Canary Wharf. As you can see, I'm in Canary Wharf now. So lit up and that. But yeah, I've had to terminate at Canary Wharf because I'm just so late. I literally cannot continue. So, I've had to terminate. So, as you can see here, 21.31, yeah, I've reached Canary Wharf and i'm supposed to be at the garage now as you can see 21 25 so i'm kind of i'm barely barely really late but um yeah there goes my son so anyway let me go let me go i got to go i gotta go let me go now so to run like back to the garage from Canary Wharf is not as um, long as it would be running from Cross Harbour. So I basically here yeah, was just um, showing you how to change the blinds because or the, dis the destination displays, because even though like if I was to go with it, saying Canary Wharf 277, people would be putting their hands out all the time even when i'm not on the route you know even when i'm not running on the route people will still put their hands out thinking the bus is in service so yeah i basically just showing you a lot yeah how to change the blinds so so my engine is off here i'm running like back to the garage as you can see i'm at poplar look at the traffic bro bare traffic there and all the way i don't even can you look see in my mirror look all the way back as well this is why 115s and d6s have been terminating early because of look all this traffic and i was gonna go the other way you know i said let me go this way i should have listened to my instinct and go the other way and look bare traffic so i'm gonna get back to garage even later but it's all right because i'll get dock it in it sweet dock it money but bro it's madness like it's literally not even moving it's not moving we've been sitting here like sitting ducks for time bro like it's not even moving man what the hell so at this point i had to get out the cab i was restless i couldn't handle it no more i had to get out and see for myself just what is causing all this traffic there was traffic for as far as the eye can see you know we had merged into one lane they were doing up the road in the bus lane so we couldn't use the bus lane 
you know, we had to merge into one lane. There was motorbikes whizzing past me. I had to get out the way. I didn't want to get knocked over. But that day was crazy, bro. We just was not moving at all. It was mad. So we moved into the bus lane, yeah? But still a lot of traffic. I don't think you man can see. So at this point, we managed to get into the bus lane. I was showing you it was 10 o'clock, but it felt like we were sitting here for an eternity. Oh my days. So look, I've reached back at the garage now, 2227. I was supposed to reach the garage 2125. Do you see what I mean? But this job, yeah, the end time is not guaranteed because if there's any diversions, any accidents, like what it was, yeah, Blackpool Tunnel, there was a closure for whatever reason. And so that's why the traffic was backed up on both sides. We was literally moving like five, like a me a meter or even half a meter every like 10 minutes, you know? And I had my engine off, obviously. I'm not trying to get in trouble, but yeah, like the traffic was mad, bro. I shouldn't have went that way. But then even if I go the other way that we're taught to go to run light to the garage, there was still traffic that way. So either way, whichever way I went, there was traffic, bro. So it's crazy, it's crazy out here today, but I'm glad I've reached the garage. Glad I've reached the garage and it's time to sign out and go home. Oh, what a nightmare, but I'm glad I've reached the finish line. I've reached the finish line. So I just, I just wrote here an overtime docket of an hour and five minutes because that's how late I was, an hour and five minutes. So you know the money's gonna be sweet when it drops on next Friday, because it's weekly pay, which is a good thing about stagecoach. But yeah, so I'm back tomorrow. Traffic was mad, 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 mad. And there was no way around it really. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Wait, let me, let me show my face, because I haven't even shown my face today. Oh, can you see me? Can you see me? Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you're returning, then it's good to see you again. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, innit? It was a crazy day. But yeah, we're done, so we thank God. Yeah, I'll see you on the next video, though. I just deep, yeah. You love never seen me wearing glasses before, innit? Obviously, I don't really need it, but I have dry eyes in it, so it kind of causes me irritation. So the opticians say I should wear it, but I don't really need it though. But yeah, it's a mad, mad.